Four and a half hours a day, 66 days a year, 13 years of your life is the average time a person spends on their phone. Crazy, right? And I don't want that to be my reality anymore. So I'm taking a step back. This week, I'm trading iPhone for a flip phone to see what happened and how I really feel when I force myself to slow down. I'm 23 and I have only ever had a smartphone. Until today. So, a little bit of context to why I actually want to slow down. Let me give you an insight into my life. I would say I'm a busy person, but to be honest, I love being busy. I work a nine to five in marketing, I do freelance, I create videos just like this one, but I feel like it's got to the point that I feel like I'm running out of time, yet I check my screen time and I spent seven hours on my phone scrolling. Being in my 20s, I feel like I'm often experiencing core life crises and I'm struggling to work out what I'm doing with my life. But then you go on social media and it is so easy to compare yourself to others and to feel like you're behind or that you're simply not doing enough. So I don't think it can ever be a bad thing to take a step back. So bring on this week and I'm so excited to see what happens. <laughs> Yesterday wasn't as bad as I thought it was gonna be. The main things I found was that I'm just so, it got this habit ingrained of going to check my phone and it was working out what I need to do instead to get that dopamine hit. I listened to a lot more music. I started reading again and it is so nice to have those little things to do instead when I'm, when I'm at home. But I feel like in the office, it might be a little bit more tricky. Today is my first day in the office without my phone and I find sometimes, I f my brain's tricked me into thinking that sometimes at work I feel like having a break equals going on your phone, but it's not really. Because my job is literally posting on social media, I obviously, I can't just be like to work. By the way, this week I'm not posting on social, so bear with, my bag is hectic, hectic, hectic. Uh -huh. I do have my work phone with me, just in case. I didn't realise that 
obviously with iPhones and stuff, you, you don't buy an SD card. I even nearly forgot, I like literally forgot I'd had to put a battery in this phone. I can now take pictures and videos. <laughs> it's working! Hello! <gasps> Coming to you from the flip phone. <laughs> I hadn't really talked about this before, but with around obviously not using my phone for a week, I actually felt really anxious to do it. I feel like I kind of get FOMO, feel a bit left out, feel a bit left behind, which I still do feel. Today is actually like halfway, I guess, which is amazing. I'm, I'm loving it so, so much so far. I just feel so content and so positive and happy. People have got my number if they need me, so it's not like I'm uncontactable but yeah so the anxiety is still there but not as much and my SD card I can't wait to get some cute pictures because I'm gonna post them on Instagram at the end of the week so I thought it was so fun hello just this please thank you boyfriend and I did pottery like I mean actual pottery and it's now time to collect our masterpieces so I'm in the office today and it is literally just a 20 minute walk away from the office but the one time I went I obviously used my phone map because I'd never been in that area before so let's hope I can remember some orientation skills and use this thing Cheers, happy Friday. I cannot believe it's five days. Five days since I have been on my smartphone is insane. I don't wanna go back on my phone ever again. Like, genu genuinely. I'm just spilled caramel tea on my white tracksuit bottoms. Oh my gosh, Jess. These are our little mugs that I picked up yesterday using my map. So this is mine, it's looking so gorgeous. Mine's a bit small though, like the handle's a bit disheveled. Um, and we've got like imprints on the bottom, but this is Luke's. I feel like Luke's, no, I wouldn't admit it to him. I feel like his is, like the sizing and shaping of it is much better than mine. So I didn't realize how connected and almost I feel like addicted almost to my phone I was. I used maps all the time, you know, obviously you pay on your phone, you do everything on your phone. Whereas now I'm having to be like, okay, do I need my cards? Do I like, <laughs> do I need to bring a map? To celebrate a fun Friday night, I am gonna do some painting. That's a good screen free activity. Cheers for that. I actually don't really enjoy chamomile tea. Chamomile tea, it kind of tastes like my lavender like wheat bag. Anyway. Tastes good on the mug though. Today is my 23rd and a half birthday and you might be thinking, Jess, who the heck celebrates their half birthday? Well, to be honest, I don't, I never have, but I thought today, literally why not? My boyfriend very kindly bought me a cake and sang happy birthday to me and I actually feel like I had the chance to reflect on the last six months and what I want to achieve in the next six months, which 
I've never done before. I do really believe that the change I felt so far this week is something that I'm going to take forward every single day to help me live more in the present and to continue living life more slowly. Being in your 20s, having a social life, working a very busy nine to five, it makes it stereotypically difficult to slow down unless you make the change. Slowing down to me, yes, has it's been off my phone and it's been giving myself the space to breathe and reflect, hence why taking a moment to recognise my 23rd and a half birthday and you only turn 23 and a half once. I've done it, seven days, no phone. I feel amazing, but you might be wondering what now? Am I gonna go back to my usual phone habits? Big fat, no. I obviously wanna keep this up 110%. So a couple of things I'm gonna be doing is notifications off a million percent. I've already had majority of these off, but I'm gonna go through and recheck and make sure that the ones that were catching me up um, are definitely off. It's an app called Forest. I think it's like a pound, maybe you have to pay, but you grow trees and you, the way you get to grow these trees is if you don't go on your phone. So you set it for a time. I've literally used that for like since GCSEs. So I definitely recommend that. I'm not gonna lie, I would recommend getting a flip phone. I am gonna take this on holiday because it's so easy just to switch out my SIM card. So if I want a phone free day, you best believe I'm gonna be switching out for this one. But my final thoughts for the end of this week is I truly feel like I've slowed down. I've had so much more time. I felt so much more present. Genuinely had the best time and I was so nervous for it. I felt really anxious at the start. Turns out you don't really miss much. You really, really don't. I've literally just had the best week ever. So, so good. <laughs>